I think it's, it's incredibly important, it's worth repeating what the new Secretary General did this week, which is uh, for the world to hear, he said that the Jewish connection to Jerusalem, the Jewish connection through the temple in Jerusalem is undeniable. Uh, that is a complete condemnation of the completely irrational, bigoted, discriminatory hatred that has come from certain parts of the UN system. Yes, uh, you know, we transcribed the interview that Mr. Wexler uh, just re referred to where the Secretary General did make positive statements uh, about fighting anti-Semitism uh, and about the, the temple, acknowledging that the, there was a Jewish temple that the Romans destroyed. Uh, I would not overstate, however, what he said. It was a passing reference in response to a question by uh, Israel Radio's Benny Avni. Um, in that same interview, he was asked specifically on the point that you, Chairman Smith, mentioned about the 3D test. Uh, Mr. Avni asked the Secretary General, uh, would you acknowledge, as many uh, Jews do, that anti-Semitism today often uh, adopts the cloak of singling out Israel for differential and discriminatory treatment, demonizing Israel, and he uh, refused to accept any notion that anti-Semitism has any connection with a double standard with Israel. So I do agree with Mr. Wexler that we should encourage the positive statements. I would not agree that it was a complete condemnation of the UNESCO uh, statement. Actually, Irina Bokova, the director of, of UNESCO, did make very positive statements that were overt and direct and were, I would say, a complete condemnation. His were not. And there were some statements he made about, about the discriminatory treatment of Israel where he didn't acknowledge the nature of the bias, so yes, reinforce, but don't give a free pass. Continue to hold him and other UN officials accountable. What Mr. Guterres and what Ms. Bokova will say can be very significant in defanging resolutions that we can't otherwise stop.